The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. So this uh, particular gospel contains a series of sayings. Uh, One of them we're all familiar with, the golden rule. Well, this is where it comes from. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. Now, first of all, what does that presume? It presumes that we want good things for ourselves, uh, that we, because we want those good things, that that's the way we should be living our lives in response to others, is we should be sharing good things with them. But let's face it, we sometimes get that saying mixed up, don't we? Oftentimes we live it this way. Do to others as they do to you. Isn't that the way the world works a lot? Somebody hurts you, you hurt them back. If somebody's good to you, then usually you're good to them back. Isn't that really the the law of revenge? Uh, You know, when somebody attacks you, you attack them back. That's the way of the world. It's not the golden rule. It's not what it says in the gospel. Or what about this? Do to others as long as they appreciate what you do. Don't we live like that sometimes? I'll love you as long as you do what I need you to do. I'll love you as long as you, you know, live the life that I say you should be living. We oftentimes do that, you know, appreciate me, and then I'll respond to you in good ways. That's not what it says, is it? That's not the rule that Jesus puts before us. It's always living out of that goodness that God shares with us. And that's what we're supposed to be building up every day. So that means we hear things like, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, love those who hate you. It's not easy. And that's what Jesus is referring to as the narrow way. The narrow way means that we have to have a pretty narrow focus. And our focus needs to be centered on that love of God. You know, we live in a world that lives this pretty broad focus. Anything goes, you know, do whatever feels good this day or that day. Anybody can live that way. The narrow way is recognizing what our lives are supposed to be focused on, and that is God. And if our life is focused on God, then those good things are going to be the fruit of that relationship. And so because we recognize the good things that God shares with us, then that's what we always want for others. That's that life of service because we give ourselves away through that goodness of God. And so this golden rule that we're all supposed to live by, now let's remember what it says, and let's remember where it comes from, that it comes from living that goodness of God in our lives and recognizing that goodness is with us every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.